I've got two of these chairs that I need to put on a boat. My kids have already gotten this one dirty. Jeez. Didn't even get a chance. Although I do understand why they want to play with it. It's a pretty cool chair. So yesterday, didn't video any of this because I was, just didn't feel like it. But I uh, kind of went drill press crazy and made a bunch of parts. Well, first I drilled two holes in one of these. And then, you know, I used one of them to make four of these total. And then I used one of these to make sure the holes were the right distance on all these. Anyway, and then I mounted a couple of the shorter ones with holes that line up. So holes right through there. And then I screwed some, well, I put some PVC under it. So, I should be able to take one of these, slide it to different positions, and have something that comes through that hole and through this to you know, select the different spots, and there's another one up there. Um, and then this can slide against the PVC so it doesn't damage the chair. So if I can mount two of these on my boat correctly, this chair should be able to go on it and slide back and forth and get locked into place, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm confident enough in this that I'm going to do the other chair before I take it out. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, maybe I should just install this one first. Because maybe when I'm installing it, I'll realize I want to change something. Yeah, let me just get one totally finished and installed. And then I'll do the second one, right? That's probably the good. Okay, so that means I need to install two of these on my boat. Okay. You know, one, over, one that'll fit there and one that'll fit there. All right, so I just need to mount a couple of these like this, right? Make sure they're forward enough that they uh, go as far forward as I would ever want the chair to be. I know I want some kids to be able to pedal, so I want the seat to be able to go pretty far forward. But then I don't want those things sticking out so far forward that I'm you know, cutting my ankles on them when I'm driving. These chairs came from Z-Box. And they seem to be pretty nice. They're definitely super comfortable. And they're made to be like tractor chairs, tractor seats. So they can be outside. So I'm hoping, you know, in this situation here, it'll last a long time. They're covered from the sun and the rain. They're not exposed to the elements except, you know, from the side a little. So hopefully they last a long time and stay as amazingly comfortable as they are right now. Oh, and they have a little, a little drain hole here in case they get water in, or if you have really bad diarrhea, uh, then you can put it, all right, let's just, let's just move on here. Okay, I need to mount these, like so. All right, with any luck, that will be sufficient height to get over this bump. So maybe I can get a piece of this, not this one, this one goes on a chair. I'll just use it for measuring purposes right now. Yeah, I can bolt through there or something. And then do something at the back. Hmm. Yeah, let's just do this part first. Okay. All right, I just need a piece of this wide enough to go across the chair. And then have some kind of holes where it's attached and attached to these. Okay. okay. All right. Let's get the spacing right on this thing. Oh, that's gonna be tight. Okay. Oh. Oops. Oh, I do want it to be tight. There we go. Um, I have another one of those bolts here. Yes. 
You know what? I have a bolt. Oh, come on. Oh, that's snug. Well, I guess it's good that it's snug. I could ream it out to make it a little looser, but I'm not going to do that right now. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what I'm going to put through here. I was thinking about like some bar that goes right through. Or maybe I'll just Maybe I'll just put bolts in at first cuz I don't have to cut anything to put the bolts in. And uh yeah, I mean, there's a good chance I'm not even going to change the chairs very often, so the bolts will be fine. However, if I find that I'm often changing the, the chair thing, I'm going to want to take the bolts out and make something that slides in and out more easily. Anyway, that's something that can be changed later. Uh, you know what? This is silly. Um, I just need to cut some little slots in here so I can use a screwdriver. That'll be <laughs> much more easy. All right. Oh, where's my screwdriver? Oh, there's my screwdriver. Of course, right there it shouldn't be. Ooh, there we go. Much better. All right, well those bolts are totally overkill. <laughs> Just wanna make sure that there's no sharp edges here. Someone might hit their ankle on. Now what do I connect into here? Oh, maybe I should flip it back over. Now I need to put holes through the top here to connect to a piece of something that goes under here. Oh, come on. Okay, what do I need to install this? 
need to make two holes, a screwdriver, and a thing. Pretty well centered. I'm just gonna prop this up with a couple of cans of paint for a minute. Oh, 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 man, that is a nice. Ooh, that's about the right distance. Oh, that's something. Oh, nice. Oh, and there's my, my voltage meter. Got my controls here and the steering. Oh, this is great. Beautiful. I like it. Ankles aren't hitting on the thing. Great, I guess I better put something back there other than paint cans. Oh, look at that. Oh, beauty. All right, so you can't sit in the seat, right? Because it's too far back. Mm -hmm. This one, I think I'm going to leave bolted in the position where I sit because this is a good spot for me, but it can go way forward. So when I put the other one in here, I think I won't bolt it in place. I think when I put the one here, I'll have two pins that go through. So it's easier to adjust. That way I'll have one that's locked in for me and no one's gonna screw up my chair. And then one for other people. Like for me. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, nice chair, Z-Box dudes. Oh, that is great. I'm excited to see how my bum feels after making a trip to town. Nice. So that, that chair is pretty good for you then? It could go forward a bit more, couldn't it? Yeah, you'll grow into it. Dude, you're moving the whole boat. Go backwards. That's it. Yeah, the rope is tight. Now you can only go forward. You can only move like a foot. Go. I put a piece of this packaging from the batteries right back here. Yeah, you know, up here I have a piece of wood. Right back there I put a piece of that foam stuff and it cut down a lot of the splashing. You know what? I might have to replace that piece of wood with one of these too. Stick it right under there. All right, on my chair over there, I've got it bolted in with four bolts. So that one's not easy to change. 
But that's okay, because I'm pretty much always going to sit there, and I want it to not move. This one, though, I've got a pin. And that goes right through all the stuff and holds the chair in place. So if I pull that pin out, I can move the chair back to any one of the other holes. I only put one pin in the front. I didn't put the back one in. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe I need to put two in. It feels pretty secure with just the one pin, though. I am super happy with those chairs so far. That is the most comfortable boat that I've made so far. I guess I'll uh, see how they do over the next year. Hopefully they last a long time. Ooh, I am liking those seats. I might have to put some more yellow accents on the boat now. Kind of even it out.